tick, 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 tick. Hello and welcome to 60 Minutes. I'm your host, just Teddy. Today I'm going to be introducing a leader of a new political movement called the Green Tea Party. They are an offshoot of the famed Tea Party movement that was very influential in the last election cycle. What he is going to do is propose a key piece of legislation that his movement is behind that will save the taxpayer money and make the government overall more efficient. Here I introduce Dirk Diggler van der Poels Mohammed. Tell us a little bit about your, your new political movement's ideas. The Green Tea Party stands for government inefficiency. Well, we're trying to reduce it anyway. Here's our idea. Right now, the day is 24 hours. People could do so much more with just a little bit more time. And we came with this insight. Why not increase the 24-hour day to 36? It's so simple. By doing this, you will single-handedly increase government efficiency by 50% at no additional cost overnight. You can start to think about the implications of this. First, say the government takes three months to respond to some kind of request or service. Now, it would only take two months. 50% increase in efficiency. Second, Social Security benefits uh, begin at the age of 65. Current life expectancy is at 80 years old. If we change my plan, people will only live to 58 years, which is seven years before they receive Social Security benefits, eliminating a huge expenditure from the national budget. And so you see, our idea is incredible, revolutionary. Clearly, yes, yes. Well, the most important issue in this election cycle for me is the promptness of post-service. How is this legislation going to help people like me out? It's the same thing with government services as for mail. If you're waiting for your package, it takes three business days to receive. Now it will only take two. It's far too long. Yeah. That's much days. better. Yeah, exactly. Well, all these points that you bring up are very important. For instance, the elderly should be very satisfied with this legislation because they'll be living younger lives and will no longer have to deal with the scourge that results in them on Social Security and Medicare. And also, people like myself, who are disgruntled postal recipients, but what about the key voter block of young women? How will they be affected by this legislation? Let me just tell you right now, Teddy, that when it comes to pieces of legislation, women parts are never far from my mind. For women voters, we think a large reason that there's a lot of discontent in the female population is because they spend so much time being pregnant. Nine months. It's a long time. And with the wonders of modern science, why do we stand for this? Why do we not start injecting chemicals that we know will speed up the process? I've talked to some leading scientists. They've come up with some magnificent solutions to reducing this time and decreasing the <laughs> of women voters. First, we will inject growth hormones directly into embryos. This has been shown to decrease gestation from nine months to six. We can lower that value even further by inducing labor one month in advance using another chemical. Some scientists assured me that it was absolutely safe and it also improves the mood of female voters and makes them feel more comfortable with themselves and more sociable. Just reduces the rate at which they probably complain to the government and vote for liberal minded candidates. And we certainly want to avoid that. Well, it's great to have you on the show. It's great to have someone who's an ideas person oh, getting yes. the word out. Yes, something new, something fresh. Audience, listen to this man. Well, anyways, that is all for this segment on 90 Minutes. Uh, be sure to tune in back again after the commercial break.